Hello everyone, it is I, Mike V. Today's question comes from William Miskunas, who asks, When playing video poker, does the random number generator deal you five cards, from which you then decide to keep slash discard, or does it deal you ten cards and it displays the cards already under the discarded ones? So, I think I know the answer to this question, and uh, visually I'm going to use a real deck of cards uh, to show you what's going on behind the scenes in a video poker RNG. And then I'll, disc uh, I'll tell you guys how I figured this out and I'll give you my final thoughts. So uh, let's begin. Okay, so imagine this. You're walking up to a video poker machine, you're getting seated, and you're about to pull out a, a $20 bill and you're ready to put it in. While that's all happening, the video poker machine's RNG is shuffling the cards much faster than I'm shuffling them here. So let's say it's like a thousand times a second. I don't know how much exactly, but but it's a, it's a lot. So. So the cards are always continuing sh being shuffled, whether or not the machine is being played. And you put in your money, and then the moment you hit that bet max or deal button, the shuffling stops, and the machine deals you five cards. It's kind of difficult doing this with the, the camera, but... And so then... So then that happens, and then while the uh, while you are making the decision to hold or discard the cards are shuffled again continuously being shuffled so you you take your time you decide okay i want to hold the ace and the queen you know you assuming you're playing jacks are better standard jacks are better let's just use the ace and the queen as an example then you hit the draw button once you do all shuffling stops then, in the flash of a second, your discards are replaced with whatever's on the top of the deck. You're paid if you have at least a winning hand, and, if you, and, and, and then the cards are displayed, but a new deck is being shuffled in the background, waiting for you, waiting for you to hit that bet max button, and then play resumes. So, so that's basically how how an RNG works. And I'm going to explain now how I've uh, figured this out and um, and I'll give you my, th my final thoughts. A while ago, I was playing around with a piece of software known as the Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator, or MAME. With this, you can play old arcade games, like Pac-Man for example, on your PC. What is interesting is that you can find ROM files of old video poker games and play them on MAME. This is the Player's Edge Plus from IGT. My older viewers may recognize this type of video poker machine. It was the predecessor to the Game King, and they were all over the casinos back in the 1980s and 90s. Here is a copy of a Player's Edge Plus game being played on the MAME. The MAME has save state functionality, allowing the user to return to a previous state of gameplay. This is how I figured out how the cards were shuffled and dealt by the RNG. Now we are going to look at an example. Here I am dealt a pair of fives. I hold on to the pair and create a save state. Keep note of the cards that I discard. I hit the draw button and, well, no winning hand. Alright, now I load up my previous save, taking me back to before I hit the draw button. Loading the save causes the graphics to glitch, but you can see that the cards I discarded have returned. I hit the draw button again, 
and this time I get different replacements. My resulting hand is two pair and I get paid 10 coins. Hitting the dealer draw button at a different microsecond will result in different cards being drawn and displayed in front of you. Now, I don't have a Game King machine, nor are there any Game King emulators on the internet, but I'm sure that today's video poker RNGs work similarly to this one. A very interesting look at none of the less. Thank you, William, once again for your question. Hey guys, so if you have a question that you'd like me to answer in a future video, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoy the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I release a new video. But more importantly, share this video with your friends. Take care everyone, and go make it happen.